Okay, here's the deal with Cuba and rock and roll. After the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962, Fidel Castro outlawed rock and roll as the music of the enemy. The ban was eventually lifted in 1966, but rock and roll remained mostly underground. And in 2004, Fidel Castro made a speech honoring the one and only John Lennon, casting Lennon as a man who was born a rebel and a constant victim of US harassment. Ah, here's the park. Okay. Groovy, groovy. The monument was open in 2000. Do you know who attended who? the opening? Fidel. Oh, did he? Yeah, and that was the time where Fidel said, this guy, he was a dreamer. <laughs> and I think I'm a dreamer too. <laughs> Here he is. That's really cool. Because they were saying that it was banned and then he became a hero. Yeah. i got to tell you, one of the highlights of the thing when we have seen the Lennon statue. I just find it such a strange thing. Oh, it was, it was a bit strange seeing John Lennon in Havana. Yeah. I thought I'd seen the real thing. That when you learn the history of it as to why Castro put it there, was because he, he was a rebel. He was a rebel, exactly. And I think Castro probably liked the fact that John Lennon pissed off the American government. Were you team John Lennon or were you team Paul McCartney? Both. Yeah? I mean, Lennon and McCartney, for me, were two of the greatest things ever happened. Ozzy and Jack's World Detour, Sundays at 10 on History. My dad calls it Prince of Darkness and History Nerd. Ozzy and Jack Osborne. He's traveled the world but never stopped taking the sights. Ozzy! Hit the road. Oh. Oh.